am I? What's going on? What is all this? What's that awful smell? The Witherstorm isn't dead yet, not even close. The what now? Who are you? Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse! We need some help over here! Then help is on the way! No way, no way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now! This way! Jesse, you made it! Then, Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! Stop staring and get a move on! Well, I can't just abandon them, not after a lifetime of study. Your head's gonna be abandoning your body if you don't turn around and run! <laughs> Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We need transportation. Anyone seen a minecart? I think Axel still has one from the Nether, but it won't help. We need to lay down too much track. We'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! We got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Everyone, follow me! Woo Jesse, look out! Ah, this is awesome! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it, I'm getting horse sick. It's gaining on us! No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. I turn around to see if it's gaining, but it's all I can do to hold on. Yee-haw! Woo! Uh, Axel, you're screaming in 
my ear. Sorry. Uh, we made it. We actually freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! They told us you'd kicked it! Uh, who are you people? It's me! Magnus! Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then... Suddenly you were there. All that matters is, you're safe now. You're among friends, Gabriel. I don't feel safe. All I feel is the horror of being in that monster. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I... Almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. It doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Eligard's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. Don't blame yourself, kid. I, uh... Never blame myself for anything. Ma! Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? All we managed to do is make things worse. The command block is still out there, Soren. Blast! Now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So, is the command block controlling all three weather storms? Oh, uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey! It's okay! Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean... Do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... You realize there's a strong chance that Gabriel is totally confused? But what if he's not? Listen, if my friends are alive, I've got to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I got gotcha. you. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I just taken a second to think about it. All I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't all on you, and you know it. I was in on the deal, too. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. Well, I was your henchman. 
so based on the transitive property of henchmen. Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not gonna make it. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's Petra's call to make. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. <sighs> Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I'm asking you, as a friend, please stay, Lucas. We need you right now. You really mean that? Yes, we're in this together. Whatever happens next, there's no way we can do it without you. Okay, I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're all right. Me too. I'm not gonna lie, man, but we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. You're looking at the King of Boomtown, or should I say the former King of Boomtown? Sounds impressive. Aw, oh, shucks. And how do I know His Majesty exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. He's your friend. He's been your friend for a very long time. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. I'm not really sure what would be useful. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. No, 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 no. Anything but that. Come on, it's what you're famous for. <sighs> well, all right then. The Ender Dragon. You see, it was huge. And dangerous. And for a while there, it looked like we were goners. But you know who stepped in and killed that thing? Um, was it Jesse? Huh? No! It was you, man! You killed it! Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Man, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben!
just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Jesse, you shouldn't sneak up on people. Ignore him, Jesse. He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? Gabriel was gone. I didn't think it mattered. Right, except Gabriel gave the amulet to me. What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. Soren, do you think Enderman could actually destroy one of those things? Well, it's not beyond imagination. If there were enough of them working together, it's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correct. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. The Witherstorms are already chasing us. If we just get them to chase us to your fortress again... Yes! Yes, that's it! They'll be caught between a rock and a hard place! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh. Yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan. Just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? us so quickly we're not safe anywhere are we well we can't stand around and wait for it so what do we do guys there's a reason it's been following us Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel Ivor it is you good to see you too Magnus hello my name is Gabriel somebody pinch me Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted superweapon. You figured all that out just now? 
The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. And if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Jesse, I'm going with him too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. Guys, we need to go now. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it! <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. you have a mine cart. Where's Axel when you need him? end is profoundly sore. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. 
our lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. All right, let's just rest for a minute. Everyone's hungry, and we could use a breather. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? Potato, you're coming with me. Not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Witch's hut. Yeah! We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake! That's that's enough to feed everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? <laughs> Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Ivor, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. A potion of leaping. Cool. An entire cake. Nice. Ivor. What? I thought he was with you. I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow? and raise you up. Whoa. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'm glad Jesse snagged this cake. Makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Say what you like about witches. They sure know how to make a cake. Hmm. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Farlands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. 
Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. Some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that I were built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. Probably climb these. Everyone, on guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! Who needs to climb when you have a potion of leaping? <laughs> Guys, caught the vines! Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me.
Olivia. <laughs> Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. I don't see a way across. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. We really need to figure out what happened to the others. I wonder if they found some other way across this gaping bottomless pit. I think it drops forever. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. Eligard didn't know you, not the way I do. But Jessie, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean... How are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. All I ever see Magnus do is argue, and we both know what happened to Eligard. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Well, for starters, we rescued Petra from the Witherstorm. You did that, Jesse, not me. You were all there together. We protected one another. This whole thing has been a group effort. Yeah, I suppose that's true.
Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Okay, a redstone block. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Go, go, go! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> I'm afraid of flying too, Soren. Really? Ah! No, not really. Just wanted to see if you'd bite. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. Looks like there's some cobblestone and some wood, two of my favorite blocks. Makes sense that Ivor would have a crafting table. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go. Good old-fashioned lever. Like 
it was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. secret passage in a house nobody ever visits. More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. them all in one place gathered what exactly the treasures of the order of the stone uh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things I don't see any enchanting books though maybe through there Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item? We might need it to unlock that door. Mm, very well. Just be careful with it. See? Am I crazy, or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the ice plain spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. Sorry, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Huh, five slots. Gassed tears. Let's try them here. Prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. A sea lantern. In you go. Packed ice. Let's put... Yes! You solved it! But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? 
There were 120 possible combinations. It was all in the Order's history. <laughs> the Order of the Order, so to speak. Nice work, Jesse. On the puzzle, I mean. Not, not the joke. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> this is the same Ender Dragon you and the Order of the Stone defeated, right? <laughs> no, Jesse. It's just a model. Right, that's my point. If you tell me about the battle, it could help me solve the puzzle. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. Soren, you are so full of it. Why would you say that? For starters, because you're afraid of flying. Ah, oh, okay, but on barges, not dragons. And besides, you made it sound like you were the only one who mattered. I was the leader. Believe you me. Whatever. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Hmm, interesting. There's another door? Ruben, do you know what to do here? Uh, well, it was worth a shot. Hey, Ruben, give me a boost, will ya? No, it, it can't be. Not here. Not after all this time. Soren, why are the Ender Crystals in the Far Lands? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, 
You said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't... this isn't what it looks like. Our story. Uh, the story. It's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, have you been lying all this time? No! No! Not exactly. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. You're not making much sense here, Soren. There's a reason for that. And that reason is... We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. I knew your story didn't add up. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. Concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated the dragon. Soren, you cheated. You you worse than cheated. You're a fraud. Believe me. I know. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. Yeah. I think you are. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor... Why? You knew about all of this, didn't you, Ivor? Of course I knew about it. I was in the Order from the very beginning. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Heligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you? You agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> Technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, this wither you unleashed, has all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. Yes. I suppose they do. You know, I kind of regret punching you right now. Yes, well, you weren't the first. No one ever seems to appreciate my good intentions. Might have something to do with the casual way in which you've unleashed Armageddon? Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Which brings us back to why we're here. We need to destroy that command block. Like now! Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Let's just get on with this thing and put that enchanting book to work. Agreed. Just follow me. I'll show you what to do. Ivor, I'm sorry. 
about everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see, there's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! <laughs> so, I can craft whatever I... An axe. Guess I could, a uh, pickaxe, a shove, a hoe... I've never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold, my enchanted diamond pickaxe. <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. If you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. Well, I kind of want to keep the armor I'm already wearing. Really? I mean, Eligard died so I could have it, you know? Come to think of it, she would have liked that. Very well. But at least take some for your friends. Sounds good to me. Nice weapon, Jesse. Thanks. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! Petra, you're okay! You guys made it! Whoa! Nice freaking armor! Hey, Petra. Are you alright? No. I'm barely hanging on. I should have stayed in that cave. Except you saved my butt like a dozen times. He's exaggerating. I found a couple potions to keep me going. Yeah. Guys, where's Magnus? Oh man, you won't believe it. See, at first it all went down like you said. Ride for Soren's fortress, etc., etc. Then we realized the Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah! It kept the main wither storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. Yeah, so Magnus ran off to fight that thing all by himself. He's fighting a wither storm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... of the, uh... Order of the Stone? ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name... Is Gabriel the warrior? Ah! And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed. Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? They're frauds, the whole order. What? It's kind of a long story. One we don't have time for right now. Fine. <coughs> Petra. Jesse. Guys. I can't do this anymore. You need to go on without me. What? No. I fought as hard as I could, but... This is where it ends for me. Petra, we need you. This is it. The final fight. I know how bad you want me there, but I just can't. 
do it. Please, just destroy that command block for me. Believe me, I will. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but we just go for it or what? We need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa. That is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Me too. Nice, Jesse. Oh, and I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. see the command block? We need to get more Endermen focused on the Winter Star! How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, you coward! I can't believe you! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. Doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? Yes, they're falling for it! Snowballs? Yeah, I found them near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like this. Uh oh. Shoot. That's right. Come and get me. Ruben, can you give me a little help? <laughs> nice one, Ruben! Need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. We've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have fireworks and TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some leftover slime from the maze. I have some wool from Soren's place. Oh. And I still have that minecart. That's gotta be enough to make something, right? I mean. If we use the TNT on, say... A minecart. Guys, check it out. We use the pistons and some redstone to build a flying machine. It'll be just like the one we saw in Redstonia. Then when I'm high enough, I ignite the TNT and blast myself into the Witherstorm. 
Heck yeah! I love that idea! So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Ah! Axel! I need a hand here. I can do better than that. Hey, Witherstorm! Over here! No. Fireworks! Good thinking, Lucas. Now let's hurry up and build this thing. Eyes on me, you great big bully! <clears throat> Done yet? Just need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on. And Jesse, I know you can do this. So do I. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. Ruben, this is no place for a. have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? Oh, I recognize these people. I mean it this time.
open. I thought I told you to stay put. Hey, you! Just watch my back. If anything goes wrong, I'm counting on you. Bet you can't catch me! down. Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean, I didn't think you'd made it. I'm fine, but what about you guys? Is everyone okay? We're great, Jesse. We're more than great. The wither storms are gone. It was so freaking awesome. They're gonna be talking about you forever. Guys, look! My sickness is gone! Oh, Petra, I'm so happy for you. Hey, hey. Do you guys hear something? Reuben! <gasps> oh no! Reuben! You're a hero, you know that? You just helped save the world. Come on, Reuben, say something. Reuben, don't do this to me. I need you, boy. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. He was a great pig.
People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. Don't tell them, Gabriel. Just let them have their legend. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you. About the Order. We may have defeated the Ender Dragon. But that is nothing compared to what these heroes did. They took down a Witherstorm. They are a new generation of heroes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something, but the truth is I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I, I also had my pig, Reuben. I could never have done this without him. He gave me advice, picked me up when I was down, and in the end, he saved every one of us. I'll really miss the little guy. We all will. Anyway, it's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the end. We even made friends with some Endermen, which is kind of a long story. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? Finishing what we set out to do. Because there's no way we were going to let a world this cool get torn apart. We did it! Jesse, this is the Nether Star that dropped when the Witherstorm was destroyed. You want to do the honors? This is going to be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born, one whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one. <laughs>